Hi everybody, today we're gonna do some motion graphics. Uh, this was requested as well. Um, I have a list of requests in the description and you can add more by requesting on the form. Please feel free. So I'm gonna show you how to make this little animation here with a, a marker. So here it is. Um, so yeah, this is kind of useless, but it's kind of a story, you know, so to make this, I first uh, designed the pen on Inkscape. I based it on a pen I found and then I just did the same. So I have two parts. I have the main part here, which is here. So like it's mainly just rectangles and some curves. Um, you can find something online, I'm sure, that does the same thing. I just decided to make it myself because it was fun. Some simple curves, rectangles. Um, so you're going to need one of your pen like here. I'll put this one in the description if you want to try. And then I have just the cap. And then both together make a full pen. So I, I uh, exported both just the cap and just the thing and everything together in case I needed to use it. So then we're going to go back to Canon Live. So here we are. Um, to the left is what I've already done, but you know, I'm just going to do it again. So first thing I did is make a color clip for the background. Uh, add color clip, you can choose whatever color you want. I made this blue-gray thingy. So this is going to be your background. You're going to want it as long as your animation. Then I took uh, the body of the um, marker and if you want to choose the color of your marker you can go here, look for U shift, then you can drag it to your layer and you can change the color to whatever you want. And if you want like to change the saturation and stuff, you can also add this kind of effects to it. Uh, for me, like I'm just gonna, I don't know, I'll make it blue this time to be different. And every animation is gonna be done with transitions, especially with composite and transform. So I'm gonna add a transition by clicking the little corner here, making it the whole way and go to composite and transform. This will allow you to both rotate and um, scale and move. So it's everything you want. I'll go back to zero for now. So you can make any kind of um, movement you want. What I decided is to come from the left towards the middle. So I don't know how long it will take, maybe like less than a second, but we'll see. So this is the middle. Uh, so for this keyframe, I'll stay in the middle. For the first keyframe, I'll be out of frame. Um, this could be math and I could be like, oh yeah, half of 180 is, uh, whatever, uh, well, more like 1920, but yeah. Uh, so then I'm going to change the keyframes to smooth. So it's nice. And so first thing is going to be the pen coming in. Nice. Um, and I want the same thing for the uh, cap of the... Um, pen. So I'm going to put it here, drag and drop the U-shift to the other, if it works. Why won't it drag itself? Yes. To the other one, so it's also blue. And I want it to move uh, at the same time, so I'm just going to copy this uh, to the cap after. Uh, I know I want it on top because I'm going to change the body afterwards the main part of the pen. So I left an empty track. Um, so yeah, it's coming to the center and then it's going to open. So actually from here, it's going to be different between the two. So I can just copy and paste this composite and transform. Uh, make sure that it is on V1, the color clip, so that um, they don't move relatively to each other. So right now we have both moving together. Um, we are going to actually add another little keyframe here 
to make sure like we have a little stop before opening the pen. But right now you can see if um, I open it, there won't be much space left. So I'm going to actually change also the size here. I'm going to go to like 80% maybe and keep it centered. And same for the other composite and transform, 80%. Perfect. So right now we have a pen coming in and de-zooming a little. Uh, it's moving a bit because of the smooth keyframes. I like it like this. You can choose to do something else. I'm actually going to still maybe change this one to linear to make sure that I don't have any problems with the next uh, keyframe, which is going to be the opening. It's going to take, I don't know, a, few, a bit longer. So the bottom part is going to be down. It's going to go down like this, while the top part is going to go up like this. Um, I just realized that in my first animation, it changed because it wasn't the right color. So I'm going to change the color of the cap and I'm going to put it to, I don't know, a different blue. We need to see it's different, like a, a green. Green is different from blue, it's great. Uh, and then we're going to have a new um body come in so somewhere on here when it's once it's open so yeah up open so yeah it's gonna come in here uh, it's gonna be the same color as the cap so green i can just work it here and now we can see it it's here uh so same add composite and transform to track one with 80% to make it the same size as the other one. And I'm going to check the position of this one. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I'm just going to put it in a place where, yeah, pretty much the same place. So this is the final position of this marker body at the first position it's going to be like to the left higher and it's also going to have an angle in the other direction like this so it can come and like kick it up kick it kick it in the butt you know uh, so higher more to the right left and even more here okay so right now if you look at it it's going to be very awkward yeah, I want it to come and like go into the body of the other one. So I'm going to add some keyframes. So one in the middle here, which is going to be like here and a little less turned so it can like kick it. Maybe at the top. So yeah, like this. And change everything to smooth. And let's see what that looks like. It's not too bad. Um, so now we need to move the second uh, pen when the well, the first pen when the first pen. Ah, we need to move the blue pen when the green pen arrives. So the first one was this one. So we're gonna add a keyframe right here, and another one later. That's gonna be the pen uh, on the side. It's fallen. Uh, so, like, oh, not that much, 90 degrees, oh, perfect, um, to the side here. But it's not going to be just like this, it's going to be like a bit, um, I don't know, it's not just going to fall, you know, it's going to bounce back and stuff. So it might actually go a bit higher first. This we smooth. And then when it arrives, it might actually go down and be a mid bit to turn so we're gonna go a bit higher and then one with a perfect 90 here smooth let's see what that looks like okay it falls way too slowly compared to um, i was gonna say human being but no but like real life Still very slow. 
Oh wait, I choose. I changed the f wrong one. I'm stupid. Um, it's this one. I need it to be faster. And actually, for the green one, I might want some movement as well to make it a bit more uh, fun. So it's gonna maybe go down a little. And for the first one, it's gonna have more rotation this way, maybe. And then it goes back up the right way. Okay, that was very fast. A little less fast. Like this. Yeah, that's not too bad. So basically, this is it for this one. So what I did is pretty much the same thing for the first one. Oh yeah, then I closed it again. You can just go up and down, you know. And then I brought a new one that was full. Like, hey, you're not good either. Goodbye as well. <laughs> and I actually switched to the full uh, cap for the pink one, so it was easier to move it all at once. Here. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked it. Um, so for motion design, uh, for motion graphics, basically a lot of it is just movement and you need, need to be smooth. So you need to kind of like study how it moves. I guess a pen is quite easy. Like you can just drop it on your desk and see how it moves and then it's easier. Um, I had an idea of like writing and stuff, but that becomes very difficult. What you could also do is make it like, I don't know. Um, move like a, like a snake at the end or something with the distort that we used for the fire. So it would be this one, yes. And like you could have a little, <laughs> maybe not that much, maybe like this, and it could go like. And then you you also change the the placement as well. You make it move to the right, like it going away. I don't know. Would that work? Maybe. That's moving way too fast. Um, frequency velocity is the one I want to move. Maybe one. Oh yeah. I would need it actually a bit faster. That's fun. Oh yeah, that's like a, a slug. It's beautiful. But you get the idea. Well, anyhow, I hope you liked it. Uh, as I said at the beginning, requests in the description. Uh, some of you have asked for things I can't do. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, I'm almost at 2k subscribers, so that's exciting. I'm gonna do a, a live for this. And, um, oh yeah, a lot of people have complained about my uh, audio. Is this better? Please tell me if you see the difference. Okay, bye-bye. Have a good week.